So now I'm going to show you how to plot this function numerically. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, um, we're going to evaluate this function at um, some closely spaced values of, of x and then, uh, and then make a, a vector that contains that, uh, the value of that function at each one of those x's. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is make an index vector which contains um, the points that, uh, at which we want to evaluate our function. Uh, so let's go over to MATLAB. Um, so in a cell, I'll put in. Um, so we want we want a, a vector. We want to plot this function from minus ten to ten. Say, so uh, we want essentially a vector that goes minus ten, and then we want to plot say minus nine point nine nine, and then at minus nine point nine eight. But this is going to take. Um, all day to type so there's a shorthand for this and that is um, we can type in the starting index so minus 10 and then we'll put an increment so in this case uh, I'll just show you an example of a 2 and then the uh, upper upper limit 10 and if I run this um, control enter uh, you can see it sends it to the command window and I get uh, I get my index array um, now, uh, I might want to evaluate this at, at some more densely packed points, like 0 0.01. Um, and if I press Control Enter, it's going to uh, send all of that output to the command window. And one nice way to, uh, to um, deal with uh, sort of bulky commands is to um, put a semicolon at the end of the line, and if I run it now, Control Enter, uh, take a look at, at what happens up here in the workspace, but you'll see nothing comes out in the command window. So Control Enter, and now I have a 2001 element double, and in the command window, nothing's come out. And uh, let's check out the first 10 elements of X. I can just do X uh, and elements 1 to 10, and then it'll. Yeah, so that's that's the that's what we want. Okay, so um, now uh, we'll evaluate the function numerically. So we'll make uh, we'll make a vector that contains the value of the function at all the values of x's. So um, let's do that in two sections. So the first section will be evaluating this uh, first Lorentzian um, over here, and uh, then the second we'll do this exponential of the two Lorentzians, and then we'll multiply the results together. And that will just um, let us uh, um, understand more uh, about, about what these two bits of the function really do. Um, OK, so the first part, uh, let's call this y1. And um, so y1 will be uh, the, the, the value of that. Uh, the first part of that function at each of the x's. So I have this uh, 1 over 2 pi thing. And then uh, it's 1 over um, x squared, uh, sorry, x squared plus 0 0.25. Uh, OK, so this is not going to work. and um, if I press Control Enter, uh, it has an error with the power uh, sign, the matrix power. So it's trying to take x, which is a row vector, and then do ma matrix multiplication with it with itself, and the dimensions don't agree. So um, if I and hold, here, I'll just give you an example. A let's say is one to five. Uh, this shorthand assumes that the increment is one. Um, and, it, and, and then b uh, is a squared. Uh, that's going to give the same error. But if I wanted b to be uh, each value of a squared, so an element-wise squaring of a, I could put a dot before the power, and then, uh, and then run Control enter And there you go. b is uh, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, the squares of a. 
Uh, oh yeah, I'll also show you. If you want to make an index array that goes backwards, the increment, you can't just do uh, 5 to 1 in increments of 1. The increment also has to be negative. Um, that's a little aside. Okay, so I want an element-wise operator on the uh, power, and the same thing goes with the divide. Um, I, can, I can put that in there. And the element-wise operator also works for, um, for two vectors. So if I had c, c is uh, 1 to 5, uh, then uh, if I want to do a, uh, b is a over c, that's not going to work, but I could do element-wise divide. So it will divide uh, 5 by 1, and then 4 by 2, and so on. So there you go. Um, and you can also do, uh, you can raise a, uh, every element of a to the, the, the power of whatever is in C, and that will be done like this. Okay, so this is, uh, this is the first part of our function. Um, I'll suppress the output of that because it's rather long. And uh, then let's also put in a plot command. And that's x, uh, y1. And uh, one, one nice thing to do before a plot command is to put in a figure uh, line, which uh, tells MATLAB to open a new figure window. And this is kind of nice if you're working on a few things at once and you don't want MATLAB to overwrite your previous figure, uh, this will open it up in a new window. So I'll, write, I'll do Control Enter. And uh, there you go. There's the first part of our function.